On today's video, we're going to be dealing specifically with troubleshooting your AC system. This is specifically for people who are new to the industry. If you didn't watch part one, you'd want to watch part one before you watch part two. On this one, we're going to go a little bit more into detail, a little bit more into debt. Part one, we basically just wanted ourselves to get a visual and mental understanding of how our system operates. What you're trying to do when you're working on your AC system is you're trying to mentally and visually in your mind separate the system into three parts. Obviously, you want to start at the thermostat. That is part one of your mental, visual understanding of how your system works. The second part is going to be your return. This is going to be where your blower is. This is going to be where your transformer, your relays, or your board may be. Your condenser is going to be part three, just allowing yourself in your mind to isolate and separate when you're doing troubleshooting to your HVAC system. Again, part one in troubleshooting, start at the thermostat. Part two of your troubleshooting, go to your return. Again, this is where the blower and your transformer and your relay, you may also have a board depending on your system. This will be part three of your troubleshooting when you're going through your system. Again, during this video, we are going to manipulate the system just to allow you to kind of troubleshoot in your mind as we're going through this process. First thing we're going to do is set our thermostat to cool, make sure you're set to auto, lower the ambient temperature. Once you set your thermostat, your next step two is going to be to find out where your blow motor, your transformer, your relays are located. It may be in a water heater room, it may be in a hallway, it may be in the attic. At this point, step two, you're going to see if your blow motor turned on. Right now, just for visual observation, I'm going to remove my panel. This is where my transformer and my relay are located. I'm going to remove my door. Every system has a safety, either a door switch or there will be some type of switch on the wall like a light switch so that you can remove power to your system. As soon as I remove my front panel, that will cause the safety switch, the door switch to disengage and that will remove power to my system. And you can see here, as soon as I remove my front panel, this is where my blower motor is. Right now we want to ensure that our blower motor is running. So I'm going to manually hold my door switch and then we're going to allow the blower motor to turn on. So we know at this point, step number one, the thermostat is working. Step number two, the blower motor is working at the return. So now we're going to step number three. So here we are, step number three. We're at the condensing unit. You can see the condenser fan motor is running. I hear the compressor running. So right now we just know this is what the system and how it would operate if everything was running and functioning properly. And now we're just gonna take the temperature you can see that our system is operating properly. Right now we're going to start the troubleshooting process. Again, these are just some basic calls just to kind of give you a foundation when you start into the industry and kind of in your mind systematically troubleshooting your system. So right now we're going to start at the thermostat, set it to cool, set it to auto, drop the ambient temperature. Right now, my thermostat is calling for cool. Now we're going to go to step number two. Step number two, we're here at the return. The blower did not turn on. So here, we wouldn't go to step number three, obviously, because we know we're having issues between step number one and step number two. This is kind of just a tip or a trick to throw in there. Here, I remove my panel. This is going to be my contactor. Be very careful when you're working on electrical. So right now you have 240 volts coming in. 
you have your low voltage wires which is your yellow and your blue the colors may vary depending on your system this is your low voltage this is what is going to engage when you get 24 volts energizing your contactor so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually engage my contactor again be very careful when you're working on this uh, safety is always important I know a lot of guys made a lot of comments uh, on my video and they're asking to just make sure that I advise that what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to engage my contactor manually and what I'm doing is I am bypassing my 24 volts and I'm tricking my system into thinking that I have 24 volts if I engage my contactor and my condenser does turn on I know that the problem is not down here the problem is going to be somewhere between step one and step two my compressor turned on my fan motor turned on now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my voltage this is my incoming voltage I should have 240 volts which I do now I'm going to check my low voltage my thermostat is set to cool I did drop the ambient temperature for the set cool point and here I should have 24 volts at my low voltage wires and I do not have voltage at this point we're confident that the problems between step one and step two the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my cover for my thermostat and I'm going to check voltage at my thermostat here I set my thermostat to off and we're going to check for voltage multimeter set to volt AC I'm going to put one lead for my multimeter on my R terminal and one on my Y terminal and I should get voltage which I do have voltage coming in do the same for my G terminal which is going to be my blower so I do have voltage for my blower the W is going to be for your heat so I do have voltage coming into this thermostat now I'm going to do a very basic test what we're going to do is we want to jump our R and our G terminal which is going to be our blower you can remove your wires and just tap them together and tie them in that will engage your blower at your return I do have a jumper so I'm going to jump it my R to my G terminal and my blower motor should turn on so here I removed my panel I am going to have to manually engage my door switch so we do know at this point that we do have uh, voltage coming from my thermostat when I jump my R and my G terminal now what I'm going to do for this next test in troubleshooting is I'm going to quickly jump my R terminal to my Y terminal and I'm going to see if my condenser unit turns on so you can see here that I do have power going to my condensing unit here I have my multimeter set to volt AC and I'm just checking my low voltage and you can see here that I do have 24 volts we're gonna remove our jumper because I removed my jumper I no longer have 24 volts engaging my contactor at this point you're gonna to want to replace your thermostat Set your thermostat to cool, auto, drop the ambient. Once you install your new thermostat, these do come with a delay, so you may have to wait two minutes before the system engages. So here, the thermostat is calling for cool. Here, we are at step number two. The blow motor is on. Step number three, the condenser is running. Now we're gonna deal with a few different scenarios in regards to troubleshooting again we have our thermostat set to cool and auto we did drop our set point below the ambient temperature inside the unit here we're at step two and we can hear 
that our blower is not engaging. Step number three, our condenser unit is running. We know at this point that we do have 24 volts from our thermostat going to our contactor on our condensing unit. At this point, we isolate our problem here at the return. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm gonna check my voltage here at the transformer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my voltage in my R, my Y, and my G terminal on my transformer. So here I have one of my leads on my R terminal at my transformer and I'm putting one lead to ground and I do have low voltage. Now we're going to check our Y terminal at the transformer and you can see I have my lead on my Y and here I have it to ground and you can see that I do have low voltage. Here I have my multimeter set to volt AC. I have one of my leads on my G terminal on my transformer. I have my other lead to ground and I do have low voltage. Here I'm going to remove my fan relay and I'm going to make sure that I am getting voltage. Now this one is energized with 120 volts so we're going to test for 120 volts. And you can see here and I'm just setting one of my multimeters inside of the prong where my fan relay would go and I have it set to ground here and I do have 120 volts. Now I'm also going to test for low voltage so I do have one of my leads I'm going to insert it into where my fan relay engages and I'm just putting it to ground here anywhere will be fine and I do have low voltage. I do have a replacement fan relay and we're gonna go ahead and put that in. You can see as soon as I put the new relay in, my blower motor did turn on. Start at the beginning, thermostat is set. My blower motor at the return is running. My condenser is on. We're going to set our thermostats off and auto. We're going to remove our face for our thermostat. If you run into an issue where you're not getting voltage at your thermostat, you're going to have to find out why you're losing voltage. So here we have our multimeter set to volt AC and we're testing each of our terminals. We checked the Y, there was no voltage, the W, and now we're checking our G terminal and we do not have voltage. You can see here that we do not have voltage because our breaker is tripped. So you want to make sure that you set it to the off position and then turn it back on. I have one of my leads from a multimeter on the R terminal. Here I have it on the Y terminal. And you can see that I now have 24 volts. If you reset the breaker and you still do not have voltage to check the 120 volt supply that is coming from your return. Now sometimes it is a plug-in, sometimes it's a switch and you want to either unplug your switch and check the voltage or you want to remove the switch and go ahead and check the voltage. You can see here that I do not have voltage. If you check your breaker and your breaker is set to the on position and it's not tripped, most likely you have a faulty breaker. I do have a video posted on my channel showing you how to test and or replace a faulty breaker. To replace the breaker, you should have 120 volts. You'll want to plug in your power source or make sure if it's a switch on the wall, flip the switch to the on position. Once you do that, you should have voltage to your thermostat. Another reason you may be losing your low voltage is because of a faulty transformer or for some reason your transformer is not getting the necessary 120 volts to energize. Here I'm at the transformer. I have one of my leads to ground. I have one of my leads here to the transformer on the R terminal and you can see I'm not getting the proper voltage. 
here I'm checking my C terminal this will be my Y terminal and I'm not getting voltage what you want to do is you want to check your 120 volts uh, that supply to your transformer so you want to follow those leads you have your black here this will be your incoming 120 volts and this is going to be your neutral so you want to trace your neutral again please be very careful when you're working on electrical so here I have my multimeter set to volts AC right now I have one of my leads going into my 120 volts that supply the necessary voltage to my transformer as well as one of my leads on my neutral so at this point if you do see that you have 120 volts and you're not getting the proper voltage on your low voltage you are going to have to replace the transformer if you're not getting the necessary voltage what you'll want to do again is you want to go to your breaker and you want to check you see once I turn it off I do lose voltage once you fix the issue you will get the necessary voltage to energize your thermostat this is kind of the last tip that I do want to add so here you can see I have my multimeter set to volt AC and I do not have voltage the reason I don't have voltage is because my panel right now has been removed the door switch acts as a safety so that when you're doing any repairs it will immediately remove any power to your unit a lot of times you see that guys will actually cut the wires and then they'll jump it I caution against that because what you're doing is you're eliminating your only source of safety and when you bypass the switch when you pull the panel if you jump both wires this unit will constantly have voltage uh, on the system with that being said I have had issues before where the door switch was faulty and it was not allowing the system to energize and so at that point you'd have to replace your door switch again there are things that I may have missed or that you may have experienced in the field that I didn't add again this is just for those who are new to the industry who are learning basic troubleshooting skills and I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of guys on my channel are new to the industry if you are uh, an experienced technician you may have other things that you may want to add to it so go ahead and feel free to do so this will end part one in troubleshooting for step one and this is the thermostat my next video that i'll be posting will be step two and i'll be posting uh, just basic troubleshooting things that you will run into in the field at the return